So this is this is the F2 fold here. You can see the whole bunch of folds on the ground. And then you can see the uh, S2 cleavage differentiated layering. Here, that's a parallel to the axial plane of the F2 fold. So that's pretty neat. The um, but what's more interesting, what's more interesting are the F1 folds, or at least there's one F1 fold here, and this is right here. You can see the F2 fold going like that, and if you follow this bedding around. Oops, down, down, down. This bedding here, this bedding, if you follow this around, and it curves around, comes around here, and that's the F1 fold, which is much easier to see from the other side of the, of the waves there. But yeah, you can, you, you can follow the bedding around so that you can identify these two fold forms, F1 and F2. The most obvious one is F2 right here, but you can trace, you can trace the this is the S1 cleavage, and the S1 cleavage is sometimes parallel to the bedding, but, well not sometimes, most of the time it's parallel to the bedding, but it's actually at a high angle, to, it's about 50 degrees here. And as you move towards this way, it becomes parallel to the bedding. So this is the bedding, this is more like 30 degrees, the S1 there, and as you, go over here, becomes more and more parallel to the bedding. Yeah, pretty fascinating stuff. F2 folds, really nice. And you can see the, the early cleavage, S1 cleavage being crenulated by S2. Microfolds. These are really well developed here. As you can see, during uh, this is low tide, so quite fortunate to be here. Okay, again. F2 folds, folded quartz veins. <coughs> this is the F1 fold. S2 running across here, 
foliate, early foliation doing this. And this bedding wraps around like this, wraps around here. That's the fold closure of F1. And then it comes around here, comes around here, and tracks, tracks down here into the ocean.